beautiful life. Angelica is incredibly beautiful, this was recognized by everyone since childhood. In kindergarten at matinees she always got the roles of princesses and beauties. At school she was given marks for her beautiful eyes. Unlike most of her peers, she successfully avoided teenage angularity, insecurity. Ugly duckling in youth could be called anyone, but certainly not her. Compliments she took for granted, smiling condescendingly, looking down on the next smitten boy. Next to her was always him, Artyom. They had been friends since childhood, since the day they were unexpectedly put at the same desk in the first grade. And their friendship continued until the last grade. And then. Lick, let's go to Sachi for a week. Solemnly proposed her boyfriend. The reason for pride was, in their small town was difficult to earn money for such a trip, he did it. And it turned out it wasn't hard. So what if he worked as a loader at night and got up in the morning to study? But his beloved is happy. Yes. 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 Lika has never been so happy, thousands of magazines, films about the beautiful life, resorts incredibly beckoned to himself. And the complete lack of money of her parents, who could not even dream of such luxury. I'll be the most beautiful on the beach. At night on the train, going out into the vestibule, where the smell of dirty socks of their drunken neighbor did not cut the eyes, Lika confidently said. Tom, I fell in love. Who is it this time? DiCaprio? Brad Pitt? Our traveling companion? Artyom smiled, he had never taken her such enthusiastic confession seriously. In you, Moron, seriously replied Lika, staring intently into his native eyes. How much I love you, my girl. Biting into his t-shirt, breathing in such a familiar scent, she realized that everything was decided. They were together, definitively. She doesn't need that life she saw on the glossy pages. She had him. That's it. They got a room in a small house, they couldn't afford a bigger place. They ate in the canteen, taking one portion for two, drinking cool wine, swimming, walking, feeling free and happy. And then. Tom. I want to go to a concert. DOM2 is coming you know? She said excitedly, looking at the poster. Son, it's expensive. You don't understand. I've been watching them for years. That's the life I've dreamed of there. I want it, I want it, I want it. Like, we cannot afford it, Topic lowered his head, his lips trembled. It's hard to refuse the girl you love. You, selfish and once said that you would do anything for me. I can't feel second class. Lika grabbed her bag and rushed to the beach, for the first time alone, leaving him at home. The sea had a calming effect. And what am I really getting worked up about? He's trying to do so much as it is, she pondered. Girl, I've been watching you for a long time, today you're alone, I just couldn't help but approach you. She was approached by a shabby elderly man. Go to the woods, uncle, Lika had been able to filibuster admirers since she was 13. Don't be in a hurry, girl, the annoying man grinned at her. You are worthy of more than you have. What can this boy give you? Shawarma by the railway stations? Shells instead of diamonds? A room in a barn with a couch that's a wreck? Lika's breath caught. Indeed. Tima yesterday just and gave her a shell found on the shore, Marker wrote on it, the whisper of the sea is always with you. I love. Now this romantic gesture seemed horribly pathetic. What am I worthy of? My voice treacherously trembled. Luxury. With me, you'll have everything. Hmm. Here's a card. The offer is valid only today, the oligarch got up completely unashamed of his flabby belly and, without saying goodbye, leisurely left the beach. Ha, it happens. An elderly dreamer, Angelica thought confusedly. Half an hour later, the girl was distracted from her unhappy thoughts by the phone. Topic. Yes, 
she answered coldly, enduring the character. Laika, I wanted. I wanted you to go to this stupid concert, I did not know how to get so much. Laika, I lost all our money. I'm sorry, Artyom gasped, his voice was interrupted. What oh 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 oh. We have to go home, we have nothing to live for. Fuck you, you idiot. I hate you. She yelled, hanging up the phone and a minute later she dialed another number. Hello. Girl, I knew you'd call. It's been five years. Angelica was now married, she's got everything she wants. Her husband chuckles as she buys up armfuls of exclusive clothes, collects jewelry, leads a bohemian lifestyle and appears in fashion magazines and television programs. He jokingly calls her an expensive doormat and a selling doll. But it even gently he gets it. She never saw Artyom again. Only sometimes he takes a seashell out of a carved box, listens to its whispering and thinks about something. Then she hides it back and goes to the cupboard. Wipes her tears with the luxurious coat and looks at the hundreds of pairs of shoes. I'm lucky, she smiles. I guess.